And there he is right there. Holy, look at the size of that giant buck. He's about 200 yards out there and we don't have a shot just yet. We gotta wait till he turns broadside. This is the most difficult part of hunting. You gotta be patient. To wait for the perfect moment to take that shot. Welcome back to Call of the Wild, and from now on, we're going to start doing the intros a little bit different. We're going back to old school. What I've been doing lately is I've been getting burnt out, honest to God's truth, by trying to get a great one the natural way, and it just seems that it just isn't possible. You know, unless you have all these strategies down, and you really know the perfect formula to be able to make this happen, it's just, it's so draining. And I don't really have enough energy to put into my videos lately. And not only that, I haven't even had enough energy to stream lately, too. So from now on, we're going to go back to old school style ways of making videos. And anyways, today, you're going to have a good one to watch. That's for sure. Holy. Look at that bull. Oh, my God. No way. No freaking way. No way. Okay. The only thing is the estimate is not as big as it needs to be to be a diamond. It's just shy, 460. Oh, it's gonna be like a 460 bull. Oh my God, that's a level three diamond potential light brown turkey. That is pretty cool. It's been a long time since we've seen a turkey this cool. We have seen some rare turkey. I don't believe this is a rare, but the fact that it's a diamond makes it a pretty special bird. So we're gonna try for a shot and we're gonna be taking them from the top of this rooftop here at about 400 yards. But I do believe that that turkey should be a guaranteed diamond. All right, so we're gonna get rid of the seven millimeter and we're gonna grab the 22. So we'll take the gobbler and then we'll take down that big old Rocky Mountain bull. It's gonna be a tough shot though. But we actually may be able to call him in. What's the distance like on this caller? 218. Ooh, a little too far. All right. Anyways, another buck moving in out there. Let's try and find that gobbler. For the time being, I do believe we're in fact going to take down this big Rocky Mountain bull. But first off, I'm going to try and put out a call to see if just maybe we could get his attention. And that did absolutely nothing. All right, tell you what, because this thing is not big enough to be a diamond, we're gonna take a shot from right here at about 260 yards out. It's gonna be kind of a difficult shot, but we're gonna go for heart. Well, we got him. Oh my God, we got him. What a heck of a shot. Man, that was one tough angle and he's going down. He just tipped over right there as a matter of fact, right there, he just piled up. All right, let's mark that and that'll work. Okay, perfect. So we got him marked. I still have no clue where that turkey went, but the good thing is we know he's around here somewhere. So we could always come back the next day and get lucky enough to spot him. All right, so we took the shot at that bull right here where he was bedded and it looks like we may have even hit him twice. We watched him run this way and he piled up right over this ridge. Well, that's probably gonna be our turkey. That's probably gonna be him. So if we can spot him, that would be amazing. We got the 22, so all we gotta do is spot him and we can take the shot. I don't know where he's at. Oh, there he is, I see him, I see him, I see him. All right, so I can't actually even tell how close he is, but if we crouch up. Smoked him, <laughs> oh my God, that was perfect. He's going down right there. All right, so how far was that? It was 
only 115 yards so we actually did shoot high i tried for a headshot and pretty much held right on and it worked <laughs> we got him all right so we might have ourselves a diamond turkey and we got this beast of a bull right down over here he's probably gonna be like a 450 or 460s bull not quite big enough for a diamond but still an incredible looking bull biggest one we've gotten in quite some time look at the rack on that thing 461 and we did in fact throw two lung shots into that bowl look at that first shot we were pretty much center lung a little bit high of the heart but almost a perfect shot and the second shot got him as he was taken off there and made an incredible left lung shot there right behind the heart but a great, great looking bull. Look at that thing. He missed diamond by about 20 points. So if he was just a little bigger, he could have made diamond. But it's uh, kind of unfortunate the fact that a five medium can be so small. Because honestly, if a four was this big, I'd be pretty pumped. But a five, not quite as much. I do, however, really like this position that he was in right here. I think that's so cool. All right, now let's get over here and go take a look at our gobbler. He actually might be a diamond. So our diamond's down over here. I mean, I feel like he should be a diamond. I've rarely gotten a level three turkey that didn't make diamond, but I guess it is possible. And here is our diamond potential, Tom Turkey. All right, let's take a look at him. It's gonna be a diamond. Oh, a big diamond, 4.65, and it's a diamond a light brown headshot 118 yards out with a 22 very very nice look at that bird so this is actually kind of an uncommon find it's not an uncommon rare it's just an uncommon diamond holy now that is a beautiful herd of muleys we just got eyes on two massive bucks out here they got a 266 minimum on that one and then we have a 227 on that one right there about 350 yards out so we're gonna have to hold a little bit high for that first shot there and the second shot it's gonna have to be almost on the spine but i think we'll go for this one first because he's quartering away at about 350 and i think we could do that oh the second shot looked pretty good uh that one's not hit very good well we got one i believe we got the big one all right so clearly there's a buck piled up right there and i do believe that should be the first buck that we shot all right we got an issue we got a mountain lion running through here and we're trying to take out that issue Unfortunately, we could not connect. All right, we shot the first buck right here. We got some really good blood. And we watched him run this way. And he's piled up right there. Now the second buck... We should have shot like right here. Oh, right here. Okay. So that appears to be from the vertebrae. But here is this massive buck. It's going to be a 291 wow was that a giant buck that was a 340 yard quartering away shot but a 291 that is the biggest mule deer we've gotten since our last diamond buck like that thing is massive all right let's go over here now and track down our second buck that we got and supposedly we got him right in the spine well, we've been tracking him for a good 15 minutes so far, and he's still running. I'd say we tracked him uh, about 800 yards, but he's finally down. Holy, he's looking a lot bigger as we're getting closer to this thing. Look at the rack on this buck. Oh my God, is that a buck? It's going to be an intestine shot, you guys. 273. Okay, so basically what that's saying, we were holding for right here, but by that time he was already full speed ahead running and we ended up hitting him way back in the intestine. 
We got a max weight gobbler out here, and although it's not a level 3, it definitely could be a diamond. And since we have the 22, I wouldn't mind going for a shot. And I'd like to know where to hold on them. Uh, 225. Okay, so I'm thinking the first dot would be 150, the second dot would be 250. I'm thinking between the second and third dot down. Okay, so clearly that was nowhere even near eating that turkey, but that's okay. I don't think it's going to spook because it's a long ways away from us. And this time we're going to use the first dot down. Got him. We got him. So basically it was just above the first dot is where we had to hold. All right, here's our diamond potential gobbler and it's gonna be a 4.48. So pretty big size one, but not big enough for diamond. And that second, I guess it would have been third shot connected pretty good right on the right lung. And it was a 268 yard shot. Another good muley out there, 350 yards, but there could be some more out there. Um, I do think, however, we're going to take the shot from right here and we'll get a little bit closer to find out what's all over there after that. Right now we're looking at, uh, how far is that? Yeah, about 350. Oh boy. Got him. Oh, oh. He was about to bolt. I'm talking seconds from being gone. And we pulled off that shot. Luckily, I held high and a little bit left to compensate for that wind. And it worked out pretty good because we got percentage drop pretty fast. All right, so our buck was right down in this grass here somewhere. And we're going to have to try and figure out where he was exactly because I have no clue where he went. I didn't see him go that way. He's literally laying right here. We're running right to him. All right, we found him laying right here. Let's take a look. Oh my God, another giant buck. That's going to be a 280.75. Pulled off a 347 yard left lung and liver shot. Do you guys realize how high and far forward we were holding on that shot? I was legitly holding right here on kind of top lung neck area and it pushed it back about eight inches and even dropped back about probably three or four inches as well. So we ended up getting a left lung and liver at almost 350 yards. But another incredible looking muley buck right there. Look at that rack. That's probably what spooked him in the first place. Got a pretty nice ram out there we just kicked up. I actually watched him trot across this opening here and he slowed down right out there. So he's gonna be about 280 yards out. We should be able to hold for pretty much top of the lung at 160. And I think we should be good. Yeah, that was perfect. All right, here's our nice ram piled up right here. Should be about like a 150. It's going to be a 136 and we pulled off a nice double lung shot at 307 yards. Great, great shot there and an awesome looking ram as well. Boy, I thought he was a little bigger than that. 136. There's another big buck. We got a 260 plus muley buck out there about 450 yards. Let's get on him and take the shot. The wind is blowing a little bit left, so we'll have to hold a tad bit right, but not much. It's a long ways. Boy, it looked good. It looked really good, but it is not going to be good. All right, he's been running for a good ways now. We got more blood going this way. He's cutting to the east side. And we found him down right here. So he's actually a 250 buck. That's what he is. 251. 
And you can see our shot was 450 yards away. He was quartering away a lot. See, I wanted to hit right here. And somehow we hit back here. Holy, that's a big buck. All I can see is just massive racks sticking up right there. Look at that thing. Oh my god. Give me a spotting. It's a four. 255 to 316. At least I think that's him. I mean, it's almost got to be. What a rack. For a level four, they really can't get much bigger. I mean, that thing is absolutely incredible. So we don't have a very good wind. And they're heading right into this thicket here. I'm thinking our best option will be to basically get them out to an opening somewhere. Because otherwise, they're just going to keep on running. Since the wind is blowing right in their face. All right, so we just got to where he actually kicked up. We have fresh tracks right here running down to the east side. And it looks like he's going right out to this, this meadow right out here. So that could actually work out pretty good. Hopefully he doesn't swing back around, which is what it appears he's doing right now. He's trying to evade this opening. Because he knows if he goes there, it's going to be trouble. Wait, 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 wait. He's coming back. He's coming back. All right, we got tracks here. Tracks going down here. Yeah, he's staying in the thicket, isn't he? This is open here, though. So all we got to do is get him about 400 yards more this way. And we'll have him in an opening. Track's going there. He's going down to the bottom here. Come on. Where are they at? Track's right here. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There they go. What a perfect setup. And there he is right there. Holy, look at the size of that giant buck. He's about 200 yards out there, and we don't have a shot just yet. We got to wait till he turns broadside. This is the most difficult part of hunting. You gotta be patient to wait for the perfect moment to take that shot. All right, he's about 250 right there. All he's gotta do is turn back. Come on, big buck. Where are you going? The question is, are you ever going to slow down? Look at him out there. Okay, he may have just slowed down. He may have. There's a bear right there, too. Oh. That's him. All right, so this buck actually looped all the way back around and came back to the exact same spot that we initially jumped him up. You see that bear running right there? That's where the bear was bedded before. Just wanted to see what it was. It's a female. But the bear was bedded right here, and the mule deer trotted across this wide open field here where we were never able to get a single shot. And it appears that they're going back across that field again. But I don't see our buck. Got a bunch of does out there. I mean, he definitely went this way. We got his track right. Oh, those tracks are old coming in. We got bison right there, but these tracks here are fresh going out. Looks like he cut left maybe here. Oh, we know he drinks right here. But how we're going to get him, that's a whole nother question. All right, so we're still trying to figure out where that massive buck went. And we got a couple of good fours out here. But for some reason, I can't seem to find where he's at. What we had to do is actually go back to where he started, which is over here. 
And I did, however, see a doe over there, but that's it. Nonetheless, I can't see hardly anything through that thick grass. So I'm kind of debating on he may be in this herd. He may be. I'm not seeing him just yet. What is that? What is that? What is that? There he is. Oh my god, you guys! He snuck right past us. Oh my god, there he is. How are we gonna get a shot off? He's behind that hill. I can't shoot through a hill. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. We had him right there. He was just on the back side of that hill and I couldn't shoot through it. So I aimed low. Absolutely did not want to hit him in the spine. That's not him. I don't know where he even went. You know, I literally just told you this is exactly what we're not going to be doing. And now that seems to be what we're doing. Well, let's get ready. Because we're going to have to pull off a running back of the next shot. That's probably what's going to have to happen here. All right, watch down the bottom of that ravine. I'm not seeing him. There he is. First shot! Oh my god! Oh, oh, what a shot! Okay, so I'm pretty sure both those shots were pretty amazing. But uh, the second shot definitely finished him off. He's literally piled up right there. Wow. We barely got on him just in time. Right when he's behind that tree. Then he popped out. Threw two into him really quick. And I think both those shots were awesome. Holy, that's a big buck. Big, big smart buck. But we got him down. Look at the size of the rack on this buck. That should be a 280 plus muley buck. It's going to be a 273 gold. And our first shot was actually epic. A running 104 yard stomach, liver, and left lung shot quartering away. So that shot there would have definitely taken him down. But then we put a follow up in it as well and got another left lung shot. So two very, very incredible shots on a super awesome looking buck. Look at that thing right there. Wow. When I first saw him, I thought he was 300 plus all day long. But as I'm looking at him now, he's just not quite wide enough. I mean, he's still a very impressive, amazing buck. And I'm pumped to have him. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.